Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amiza and this is my July plan with me video. As always, before we start, here are all the supplies I am gonna be using in this month setup. So for this month, I am going back to my floral theme. I had so much fun with the abstract theme I created last month. Um, it was really nice to finally get to use some acrylic paint in my bullet journal. But now I am ready to move on with a new theme. My theme for this month is Lotus. And as you guys can see, I start off with the cover page. So for this cover page, I first um, applied the Tombow Dual Brush Pen in code 772 on my watercolor palette and by using the Pentel Aquash Water Brush, I blend it with a little bit of water to create the background. I left some empty space for where I want to draw the lotus and when it's completely dry, I went ahead and draw the lotus with my artline drawing system in the size 0 0.2. It is a very basic drawing if I must say, I don't really put um, much details to it but you can always add in more details if you want. And to complete the whole drawing, I went ahead and used the Tombow Fudenosuke Soft Tip and also Pilot Gold Gel Pen to add in these little dots to my drawings. For the title, I am using the alphabet stamp that I've got from Tinted Ink. I will definitely link their Instagram account in my description down below in case you guys are interested. Underneath the title, I went ahead and write down some sort of a quote of Lotus because I thought the cover page was too simple but again this is totally optional. The quote says Lotus, a flower that struggles through mud to emerge beautiful and whole. To complete the whole look, I went ahead and draw a line with my Stadler pigment liner in size 1.0 on the right side of the page. I personally really really like how this cover page turned out. I think it looks um, cute and somehow magical. Moving on to the next page, this is my monthly log. So for this log, I am using a one page spread. The size of each box is three times four grids. I didn't really use my monthly log last month so I decided um, to go back to the one page spread and as I usually say this is actually the beauty of bullet journal we can always change the layout or spread depending on our needs um, you don't necessarily have to follow those you see on Instagram or maybe anywhere else after I finished drawing the boxes I went ahead and write down the dates for this month for the decoration, again, I went ahead and used the same technique I used for my cover page to draw the lotus. I don't know if you guys notice, but I usually use the same technique or style throughout the whole month to create some consistency. For the next page, this is my running list. 
Um, I divide this into four categories which are my to-do list, to buy list, YouTube ideas and also work. I never use this um, type of spread before but I just um, love the idea of seeing everything I have on my plate this month in one place. So if this works, I guarantee you guys will see this page again next month. The next page is my habit tracker page. For this month tracker, I am using the calendar view layout. Nothing really fancy going on with this tracker. I am keeping everything simple this month because sometimes less is always more. And as I usually say, I like to keep that minimal vibes in my bullet journal. And I only decorate this spread by drawing lines with the same Tombow dual brush pen that I used in the previous spreads. For the header of this tracker, I'm using the alphabet stamp again to create some consistency. I actually end up um, adding a spending tracker in this month setup after I finish filming this video but I will definitely share the tracker with you guys on my Instagram. The next and also the last page is my weekly spread. For this spread, I decided to draw the smaller version of Lotus in the bottom right hand side of the page. I have to say that I didn't really sure if this is the right theme for me. I didn't really think through but I decided um, to just give it a shot um, to see how it goes. But if I were to be completely honest with you guys, I really really like how everything turned out. So here's the final flip through of my July setup. It is still simple and as I said, I really like the end result or maybe it is just me being biased because I love pink. I don't know but nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Make sure to tag me on my Instagram if you guys recreate this theme. As usual, the link to my Instagram account is linked in my description. Alright guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I would really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by subscribing. Talk to you guys again hopefully in the next video. Until then, bye bye.